Most manufacturing facilities have been relying on compressed air systems for decades. The dependence on this costly and damaging practice needs to stop if manufacturers hope to achieve process control and production standardization. A scientific study conducted by the University of Minnesota found compressed air to be one of the most expensive and least efficient utilities employed in a manufacturing facility. Equally distressing, the Earth Day Network declares that the generation of electricity is the largest source of greenhouse gas emissions in the U.S. Production equipment reliant on compressed air consumes an extremely high amount of costly electricity. The addiction is driving down profits. And as sales grow, it's increasing the carbon footprint of the facilities that are dependent on it. As if being expensive and environmentally harmful weren't bad enough, compressed air is a gas, and as such, it's unstable and ever-changing. Two properties that wreak havoc on process control. The most effective way for manufacturers to regain process control is through the use of algorithms. Trouble is, the very nature of compressed air makes it impossible to accurately apply an algorithm to it. If you can't apply an algorithm, it's impossible to have intelligent controllers for fluid dispensing. Instead, companies are stuck in a situation where programming every setting becomes a long, arduous exercise of trial and error. Without intelligent controllers employing algorithms, the fluid dispensing process spins terribly out of control. This is a huge problem because manufacturers are required to validate their manufacturing equipment and process prior to moving ahead with production. The validation process takes months, costs thousands of dollars, and results in reams of documentation. As long as compressed air is being used, validating a production process for global performance standardization cannot be successful, regardless of the amount of testing performed and documentation created. Without global standardization, companies can't hope to duplicate the validation process that was done in, say, Minnesota, to the process in a production facility in, for example, Mexico. This critical disconnect leaves production managers saddled with poor performance, big headaches, and lost profits. Even worse, these managers don't have either the time or money to revalidate. Fortunately, there's a way to lower energy costs, shrink your facility's carbon footprint, and achieve process control and global standardization. This superior solution is revealed in the upcoming video. Stay tuned. Fishman Corporation, dispensing innovation.